Load to Learn, making curriculum materials accessible. Hello, welcome to this Load to Learn video on how to use the free software Ami to read daisy books. In this video, we will have a look at what is Ami and what is daisy. Then we'll look at how to open a daisy book, how to read a daisy book, how to navigate a daisy book, and finally, how to configure Ami to suit your needs. So first, Daisy is a special format that links text and audio and text structure and makes it much easier for students with visual difficulties but also with cognitive difficulties to access the text. You need a special piece of software to read books in the Daisy format. There are many very good commercial options but you can also start with a free software called Ami that you can download from the DAISY Consortium website. Once you have installed Ami and you know you have some DAISY books on your computer, you can start reading DAISY books. However, DAISY books are different from other formats in that they cannot be opened by simply double-clicking on them. You need to open the DAISY reader first and open the book from within the program. So first you open Ami and click on the Open icon or go to the File menu and choose Open. Then you need to navigate to where the folder where the Daisy book is and open the folder. And in that folder you will find the file that opens the book. And Ami should automatically find the right file, which is most often ncc.html or .htm. And then simply click the Open button. Once you have opened the book in Ami, you can start reading it. You can play the book back by simply pressing one of the playback buttons on the toolbar or simply by clicking anywhere in the text. Once the book starts being played, the text will be highlighted and you can control the playback by using the pause and play button. There are also many keyboard shortcuts for controlling the playback and you can find more about them through the play menu. Most importantly, you can use space to pause and play, and control plus or minus to slow or speed up the speed of playback. Another important feature of Daisy Books and Ami is the structure for navigation. Make sure you enable the navigation through the view menu and choosing sidebar. And once you have the sidebar available, you simply click on any of the items there, and the Daisy Book will start playing from that point. Again, there are many keyboard shortcuts you can use to navigate and you'll find out about them through the navigate menu. Most important are the arrow keys that will help you go up and down in the text or jump by phrase. But you can also use the control F shortcut to help you search through the book. If you want to mark a place to return to later, you can use the bookmarks menu to add a bookmark. If you use Ami a lot, you may want to use the preferences to configure it for your needs. The most common preference that people may want to go to first and disable is self-voicing. By default, when you install Ami, it will be turned on so that every time you click on a menu, it will read out what the menu does. But many people will find that too distracting, so they may want to go and turn that off. But again, many people will find that very useful, so it is a good default option. The next important option is to choose the voice you want Ami to use to read the text. That can be a commercial voice such as Brian from Ivona or one of the free voices that you can download from the internet or that comes pre-installed on your computer. If you would like to change the way text is displayed on page, you can go to view and choose the page style or the size of the font. In the text style you can choose the type of font and the way the text is highlighted as well. To remind yourself of some of the functionality and features of Ami, you can print out the Ami cue card from the Computer Productivity and Accessibility cue cards. You can download the cue cards from the Load Learn website. They are free, and you are also free to make new ones and share them with other people. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. For more tutorials or information about Load to Learn, please visit loadtolearn.org.uk or contact us on 0300 303 8313. Copyright 2012, Dyslexia Action in R&IB. 
licensed under the Creative Commons licence, by attribution for non-commercial purposes and shared alike.